session, I said to you, like, here you are, all that needs to be welcome to arise and be met by you. Mm. Yeah? Mm. So it's coming for the true meeting. How you're going to meet it is going to be the, the freeing of, of it mm. or not. I want to, but it's um, when Mike was talking, um, and I was feeling really um, like a really deep sadness. Um, and I was really is it here now? yeah. Where is it? It's really in my stomach. And when I when I'm with it, it's it's so vile and disgusting at its very depths. And who's the judge of that? Me. Michelle, the storytelling thought person. But it but it feels vile. It feels it feels it feels really like there's a disgusting thing there that I I don't want to have okay. in there. Okay. I don't want it to be. Okay. In there and. Okay. I think. Um, okay, I think again, but I think that it that if I welcome it, that it will go. So it's just like welcoming it to get rid of it. Is yeah. that a welcome? No, it isn't at all. And I was really beginning to get that from, from when Mike was, was sharing, that you've really got to really honestly want it. You can see his honesty. Totally. Yeah, yeah totally. Yeah, it's, on, it's time to tell the truth, you know. It's time to get really, you know, do you want so-called spirituality to get you out the shit? <laughs> You know, it's time to tell the truth. Yeah. Do you do you want truth for itself, or to get you something, or get rid of something, or give you a better experience of life? I think I thought I wanted it because I thought it would make me happy. Right. But what I'm really clearly seeing now is that is that that's that was never on offer. It's it's. It's just being really with the truth of, 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 of everything. Absolutely. And, and that's not guaranteed happiness. Right. And just let that in. Let that in. And then there's the happiness for not needing to be happy. Not needing to have a happy experience all day long. What a relief. <laughs> huh? Yeah. What a relief to rely on happiness. You think you can rely on that? No. So can we come closer to this feeling that's sitting in your is it still here? Yeah. Yeah? Less violently. Right. Can you really, really allow that to be here? Yeah, I don't have a choice. Right, you don't have a choice, but you have the choice of... In this moment, you don't have yeah. much choice. <laughs> <laughs> you're either resisting your experience or, or, you're, or you're just going, okay, for what it is. Yeah. Not to get rid of it, not to yeah. welcome it, to get it out. But just f to know it, to come to know what... Is it, it's a sensation isn't it? Yeah, it's a physical... But it's, it's a, a physical sensation. physical sensation. And you are aware of the sensation? Yes. So, can we say it's a sensation happening in awareness? Yes. Is there anything or any body else here apart from that? No, not right now. You can't find any entity who is owning this sensation. No. So then it's a, a, a wave of sensation 
moving in awareness. So the invitation is to be the space for whatever wants to move through, whatever wants to come home. When that comes home in you, when it really has the space to move through, no matter what it is, without you moving into... Because the, the habit of the mind is to go finding the story, what it's all about, you know? Mm -hmm. And then when you uh, overlook the space and jump onto the story, you move away from the sensation again. You've been doing it all your life. Mm. And then you carry it around and you collect the next uh, match for that experience. Right? Mm. When you make the shift of taking the responsibility to meet yourself in a new way, no matter what is touched, no matter what tragedy happens here, to just make the commitment to yourself to just let it come home in truth. Mm. to be the space for the experience to really be met. Just like we are meeting so directly. There's no past, there's no future. We're meeting so directly. Mm. It's a direct experience. Yeah? Mm. When you can make that shift in your experience, just by being aware of it, then this energy is, <coughs> is it's met in truth and it's transformed. Because it's all, this, what this energy is, is bound up, left over. It's your life energy, which is bound up mm. by old stories, old moments that couldn't be, yeah? Mm. And it's, it's your life energy. And carrying this around is exhausting. Mm. So when we, when we lay, I say, drop into it, you know, that's my thing. If I have some activation like that, I've just fall into it, you know? Be the space that holds it to just process. And I find that that um, energy which is bound up becomes back to its source, comes back to its source. Mm -hmm. But it, it, it means staying with it and staying with it and staying with it and staying with it. You know, f it will only stay like a solid, like a solid um, heaviness for as long as you are there with some uh, agenda. Trying to push it away. Trying to push it away, trying to uh, disidentify, trying to anything. When you are only the space that holds it, it can, by its, by its own naturalness, everything is moving and changing. And as it moves and comes back to the openness, it reveals itself. It brings clarity. Mm. It's really like, uh, like if I start saying to you, if you fall all the way into it and, and stay and let it, it turns back into love, then you go with an agenda, okay, right? Mm. These are moments of grace. There's no goal. It's just saying yes to the experience, no matter of the outcome. No matter about the outcome. Mm. Not for transformation, not to get rid of it, not to make progress. No matter about the outcome. is it right now? Yeah, it's really softened. I 
think part of that as well is um, it seems to me that to to take that responsibility to really agree with yourself that you're gonna be with everything is is trusting that everything will be okay and I think most of my thinking process is about trying to control that everything will be okay and I think I, I stopped trusting that everything will be okay a long time ago. And so is there any part of you that doesn't even need to trust? Is there any part of you where everything just is okay? In yeah. Life? Which part is that? That's my truth, my awareness. And if you throw out my... Awareness. Just what is. So I don't even need to trust, I don't even need to make that effort. <laughs> and then happening by itself, the little Michelle totally trusts because there's a it's a byproduct without a doing. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. You're also full of sincerity and truth. It's beautiful. Mm-hmm.